you haven't got any dents and chips, especially in the centreboard and rudder. If I was only going to do one thing in terms of boat preparation, with the leading edge of the rudder and the leading edge of the centreboard, same as with all the other boat preparation, our Olympic sailors... All the way to the finish line, she... You know, she's never going to give up, and, uh, and that's one of her uh, top qualities. But right now, she really has to put that quality into, into play because she she's, uh, she's behind here. It looks like advantage uh, Emma Plashard, but it's um, yeah, straight into attack, trying to get the leverage from, uh, from Sam. And I'm quite sure if you look at, look at the... Uh, the, the SAP tracking, you'll see Sam tack off and, and cover, um, cover. So that's just coming across there. We saw Sam Meach taking that first tack. And yeah, we can really see that Jean-Baptiste is the least favorite side. So. so really the focus is for that third place. Paige Rayleigh currently but holding on to bronze. Anne-Marie Rindon yeah. trying, to, trying to catch her, but Anne-Marie Rindon needs to get in front of Baumeister. Stefano Pesquera, the 25-year-old from Peru, has taken the change with Hansen and Pesquera. We'll get a distance on them at the moment. So 17 metres between Thomas Gart and Elliot Hansen right now. And we're watching the Norwegian. With his uh, tiller extension so he can work on his other ropes. And he's... Now going Almost. The lead pack of this race is in the middle, so Buckingham is pretty much dead middle of the fleet. There's a group coming from the right now, and that's why he's tacking, to stay his bow in front of everyone. Um, so that will give him opportunity. Um, he's going... Just about world titles here. It's also about qualifying your nation for Tokyo 2020. And in the laser, there are 14... ...five who are fighting for a place in the medal race. Yeah. 22 years old, showing great calmness at the front of a very experienced fleet. Tax towards the mark. And he's looking to get as much competition, as much practice as she can before. Remember? Yep. The 20 year old yeah. against the 39 year old. That's quite an achievement to still be going and still be competitive at that age. I think she's just really enjoying it. She goes to all the events. Uh, she's still uh, coached by the same uh, by the same coach, by Sergey. Fourth position, so sailing a good second upwind there. At the moment, holding on to that gold medal position. Again, right. That's very very close racing. Almost, can you see, I'm uh, just seeing if there's a little left-hander, I'm trying to look out the window and spot, it looks like there's a little bit of a left-hander pressure, but I'm just not getting enough time to look at it, so we'll see if the analytics brings it to us. They're very, very close together. It's, um, yeah, it's pretty unusual that uh, nobody, yeah, it's not unusual because Learn. of... Where is Conti? A couple of races against uh, Sam, and he's, he's, he's characterised by being this really, really smart sailor. Very conservative, always putting himself in the right spot compared to the fleet. Like really in the boat and also keeping an eye on the weather and the wind uh, in case that changes. Marcus. Um, well, I... Four-time world champion, Australian here, Tom Slingsby. They've taken a little tactic. Our tech, actually clearly about so attack there. Contides takes away. Now, Contides all the way to the ley line. Once you're on the ley line, very difficult for the trailing boat. To, um, to 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 have a passing lane. Exactly There's a, oh, that's a, a close one. So there won't be a lot of. Migrant and Stefanovic. They are playing exactly the same game. So we've got two, two games. Races. That'll keep you busy. Get your calculator out. What's this tracking Sail tracking. On the that's what gives us our. That's a. Generally trying to get an unfair advantage. So what the rule is? It would be the big three for GBR along with Ainsley and. Um, you know, and he hasn't performed. He, he's not in medal contention. This person is Tom Swinsby. 
Yeah. Well, he had uh, 87 points after 10 races. The highest he managed was the second in the who just has been dominant in terms of the row, uh, the, the, the results. Pontides is the new boy on the block. He's trying and, uh, everything. It's first little blood here to Baumeister. She got a bow down. She got a beautiful start. That China, they're dipping the whole fleet. So I think the Chinese girl in this amount of wind is going to struggle a little bit, especially on the upwind. Not a good start by the regatta leader, would, dipping the fleet. Would you say that she was the first to sort of quit on that one? Well, it's almost like you're absolutely good. It's going to be Ireland <laughs> at mark one of the medal race. Look at this. this heavy weather champion, oh. Annalise Murphy, leads the medal race. It and only six kilos, but she uses that height beautifully. Very straight back, very straight legged, under the hiking strap. She's right on tippy toes. Why? That means she can just get her body tacking a little bit further out over the side. Is I think it comes down to the, the style and the technique of the sailor. So we are attacking. So no dramas on the start line for any of these women and we're on board with the overall leader from China. Well, as she comes away on this lane, we can't see it from the shot and just as she goes for attack, how Paige Rayleigh was just that below. The top three starters are going to win medals here. So the focus is on who will win this medal race. And right now, Anne-Marie Rindom has a slight advantage over Josephine Olsen of Sweden. Erica Reinecke of the United States in the mix as well. Yeah, and the wind is a little bit more to the right again, 160.